We're going to look at trying to improve your forehand return and your forehand in general by focusing on the elbow placement on the shot. And what I mean by that is you want to keep the elbow inside your body. You want to keep the elbow in and up. You know, raise the elbow up so your wrist and elbow are about the same height. What does that do to your return? By, wrist, by laying the elbow high and near the body with your wrist slightly below your elbow, what you're going to see happening is that it limits the backswing in your return or your ground stroke, but it will also create a very horizontal plane when you swing. This elbow lift allows you to prevent the hand from flopping over. You want to keep the elbow up and the wrist here so that we bring it back. Your, your hand comes forward like this. If your elbow is down and you bring it back, there's a tendency that you have to drop the hand and then you might flop. Like if your elbow comes forward and your hand is above, you're, it's hard to bring your, your hand's gonna come down on the follow through. Elbow up, you have to bring it down. Your elbow has to be above your wrist for it to come up. Elbow up already, wrist down, comes forward and through. Elbow, uh, elbow down, wrist up, your hand has come down and up. So it slows the process down. There's a tendency for the racket to flip over your elbow. Creates a bad shape. So keep the elbow in, get that wrist above. You want your elbow above your wrist or in line with your wrist. And look at the weight distribution. You'll push off with the right, the, the left leg. You're, whenever you hit your forehand, it's that not, whenever you hit your strong stroke, it's the racket leg not associated with the hand. So if you're right-handed, you push off your left on your forehand. If you're left-handed, you push off your right, okay? And the weight you're pushing is push off, turn your top, hips square to the court. And that way, when you get the weight distribution coming into the court, you load and then push off again. There's a load, and I'll hit, and I'll try to push off again into the shot. Keep the swing plane as flat as possible. And that's what I like about focusing on the elbow. It really, really helps you focus on the swing plane also as we hit the shot. If you have a stable swing plane, repeat, repeatable over and over again, then you really start hitting the ball with your body or the unit turn. And you don't use a lot of excess arm swing. Excess arm swing creates more levers. It, has more, it becomes more timing dependent on the shot. And you really don't want that happening. Try as much as possible to get your weight going forward on the shot. Because having the weight going forward on the shot always adds more to your racket shot. That little push, weight coming forward. No matter where you start in the court, make sure you're going towards the court and bring your body weight forward. There are very subtle differences on the deuce side, and most of it becomes the fact that you have to push off and get your body weight going into the court and your leg placement. But same concept, keep, keep the elbow in front, watch my legs, Right leg pushes off into the court. Set. Set the elbow. Set the wrist. If you can't get the wrist in line with your elbow, just keep the elbow closer by. It really helps set up those back swing so you don't have a big rotation, a big back swing, which will limit your timing of the return serve. The return serve is more of a leeching shot. Keep the elbow in, that way when you make contact with the ball, your wrist is in front of your body and the racket's in front of your body. Therefore, you can transfer weight to the ball, creating a more stable shot. Plant the right leg so you can push off the right leg into the ball. There's a push, then watch the swing plane through the ball, up and over. I like the full follow through, avoiding my head. And I like to point to my butt cap at the ball, do my target point to remind myself to make sure the racket comes through the ball when you make the impact. Uh, you can also think of it like when you set up for your racket, you have the back the racket head pointing to the back fence and your butt cap pointing to the ball. Then when you make impact and follow through, the butt cap points to your target. The full follow through allows you to accelerate through the ball quickly and allows you to have a stronger shot. I always think about like, hitting three balls in a row. Elbow, wrist, short swing. I actually don't get the butt cap to the ball. I actually put the throw to my racket at the ball. And I'm pretty much, I'm leeching. The elbow reminds me to rotate with the body. Because once you set up with that elbow, 
And if you just do it yourself, you put the elbow up, it's, it turns your shoulders. You know? And it's not like you're just dropping your hand, you're dropping your whole arm, and you want to incorporate the whole arm of this shot to full follow through. It works on both sides. The idea is you want to do it within the course of the ground strokes also. Because what's going to happen is the ground strokes, you don't want the back swing to be too big. On the run, same concept. Watch your feet, keep the elbow in. So here I start to run to the ball. It's a slightly different shot because I have to come into the court. Split step, push. I'm going to try to get there, plant my right foot. It's that open stance forehand. Come into the court, elbow in, wrist below. Plant that outer leg, have the full body turn. Then you rip to the shot, realizing you're closer into the court, I have to get more spin. So instead of doing that low to high follow through, I'm gonna go across my body to drive it and impart more spin on the shot than normal. Concept sales stays the same though, keep the elbow in. And the follow through goes across the body. The right foot is in front, so that when I make impact, I can push off and recover back into the court. You plant the outer leg, and you have a full body turn in the shot. Look at my shoulders pointing to the target, and I rotate through the shot across my body with the bracket, full follow through. The important thing is you plant the outer leg, and you try to push off into the court, and you rotate the shoulders to the shot. Most of the follow through is more out and through and across the body. The cross body follow through is a faster follow through than over the shoulder, but you have to make sure you use your whole arm to do it. Don't just use your wrist. Get in position, plant that foot, elbow stays in, follow through your whole arm, not just your wrist. Go through the ball. People that use just your wrist, you tend to come up on the ball and your, your, your shot lacks power because it's not hitting through a ball. Pretending like you're hitting three balls in a row. You really want to be about having the elbow in and a solid unit turn. Even when they try to go body on you, you always just try to shift and hit the forehand. Let's review. You want to keep the elbow in. Keep it in and high with the wrist slightly below, below your elbow. That way when you take the racket back, since your elbow is already high, the racket's set like there, turns your shoulders, get your body ready for that unit turn. Remember, when you plant that leg, you can plant that right leg and push off this shot, or you can transfer weight from your left leg to your right leg and push off that shot. But the elbow being above the wrist allows you to have a very stable swing plane. Works on the deuce side also. Turn your shoulder, plant that right leg, elbow up and in, wrist level, and then what you can do, you can turn your shoulder, drop the racket head, and hit through a shot. Making sure you go into a stable 45 degree angle flat swing plane. I like this because it, it encourages students to have that whole body shot. That's what makes you stronger when you use your whole body to hit the ball, not just your arm. Finally, make sure you have full follow through, which will create a lot of pace in the ball as you pretend to be hitting three balls in a row. And you go all the way through a shot transfer because when you want to hit a ball and go all the way through three balls you tend to accelerate through the first ball to the second ball to the third ball if you stop at one ball you tend to slow down so think about these tips when you're trying to hit your forehand keep the elbow in and up and keep the wrist below your elbow as much as possible all right hope that helps you out thank you very much